Hey everybody, I hope you uh, enjoyed your challenge quiz. It was really easy to do. I'm gonna just explain a little bit more on how to work our, our uh, analogous and complementary colors. As you know, you could have used a color wheel to help yourself out to use your pairs, your analogous pairs or your complementary pairs, okay? So let's go once more. For analogous, our analogous colors are the ones that are next to each other, remember? are really next door neighbors, right? These over here are analogous colors. So if we were talking about analogous pairs, what I would have worked first would have been red and my next door neighbor over here, that was orange. So red and orange are analogous pairs. These two over here are next to each other, so we could have worked analogous pairs over here. The same as orange and yellow. I'm just gonna continue like this, orange and yellow, right? Then I could have also did another analogous pair, make another analogous pair with yellow and green. Yellow and green over here, right? Also, if I did next to each other, green and blue. So I have green and blue over here. Then I make blue and violet over here. And finally, violet and red, right? So these would have been our analogous pairs that we could have got 12 different combinations on our analogous pairs. Now, talking about complementary. Complementary are less combinations because they are right across each other, right the opposite side in the color wheel. So we only have six matches on our complementary pairs. That means that if I'm gonna do the cross door neighbors over here, crossing the street, I would have obtained a blue and an orange, in which I have here, orange and blue, right? I would have obtained also red and green that are over here and the last complementary combination pairs would have been violet and yellow that I had over here. So once you have your combinations, what I asked was to do our bird over here that was using complementary pairs on this side and analogous pairs on the other one. So I'm gonna use my complementary combinations over here to work first with my complementary uh, composition on my uh, parakeet over here, okay? So what I did with my pairs are blue and orange. I had blue and orange over here. So I colored my pair right here. Then I combined red and green that are these complementary pairs over here. I did also violet and yellow that were also a pair of complementary, right? And red and green over here in the front that also I used. So I use all of these combinations to work on my parakeet uh, painting, okay? Now, on the other hand, I had more options to combine with my analogous colors. So I have analogous pair over here and here I have my analogous pairs that I already designed here. So. I used yellow and green. I had this combination, yellow and green over here. I also used red and orange, red and orange over here. I used blue and violet, blue and violet right here. I used red and orange again, right over here. I used orange and yellow also here. So you could have used whichever combination of pairs that you would have wanted to, come, to, come, uh, to um, design your own painting. So if you did this, guys, congratulations. It's kind of complicated, but I know that using practice, you can work on it. So congratulations to everybody. You did an excellent job. Hey guys, today we're gonna work on a collage in which we're gonna color first our uh, hearts and we're gonna create a heart balloon, water, uh, air balloon for our painting. For this, we're gonna be needing our printable that I already posted in our platform and also a white cardboard. Also, we're gonna need our coloring pencils that are primary and secondary colors that are red, blue, and yellow, orange, green, and violet. And we're gonna need a pair of scissors right over here, and we're gonna need some glue, okay? So let's begin with our project. First of all, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna color, I'm just gonna put a little mark, okay? I'm gonna color one of my hearts red, another color, that I'm going to use for my heart, and for my heart is orange. Just 
gonna put the next here. And my third heart is gonna be yellow. Okay, these are the three colors that I'm gonna use for my heart. Also, this small one, I'm gonna use this one also for red, okay? Now, for my um, clouds, I'm gonna be using blue. There we go, I'm just gonna mark blue. Then, for my basket, I'm gonna be using green. And finally, for my strings, I'm gonna be using violet, okay? So let's start painting our, um, our collage. Como iba diciendo, vamos a pintar un collage con lápices de colores que vamos a necesitar colores primarios y secundarios en los cuales vamos a usar rojo, amarillo y anaranjado para esos corazones que ya os he marcado. Para el corazón pequeño también es rojo. Para las nubes vamos a tener un azul. Para la canastita de la, del, del globo de aire va a ser verde y las pititas van a ser moradas. Entonces, por favor, vamos a empezar a pintar. Colorearemos de una manera um, uniforme presionando bien el lápiz y sin pasarnos de las líneas.
Okay, as you can see over here, I already painted my three hearts, my small heart, my square, and my strings. These colors are really, um, really strong. I put a lot of pressure into the colors, and I left my two clouds um, not colored yet. Como pueden ver acá, he pintado mis corazones, mis tres corazones grandes, con una presión bastante fuerte. Eh, está bien oscuro el color, mi corazón pequeño, eh, la canastita y las dos pititas que van a ver para el globo de aire que vamos a, a trabajar. He dejado aparte los dos, um, las dos nubes porque ahora vamos a utilizar otro tipo de presión en el lápiz. So we're going to grab our blue pencil now and we're going to start with a little bit contour doing contour around our cloud. Vamos a contornear nuestro, nuestras nubes de esta manera. Un poquito oscuro del principio. Entonces vamos a ir contorneando todas las dos nubes. You can see that my pressure is not too much, but it's even. Pueden ver que la presión que estoy usando con el lápiz no es fuerte, pero es permanente y es um, está igual. O sea, no no estoy poniendo más oscuro ni más claro. No ven, entonces uniforme. Okay, so once we have contoured all our cloud, we're going to use a really, really light pressure on our pencil and we're going to color the entire cloud. Ahora sí que tenemos todo contorneado, chicos. Lo que vamos a hacer es usar una presión muy suave en el lápiz y vamos a ir pintando la nube bien suavito. As you can see, my, my uh, inside cloud is really, really, really soft, but it's even. La, el, la nube que estoy pintando, como pueden ver, está bien suavita, pero está parejita. The same thing we're going to do on our little cloud. Lo mismo vamos a hacer para la segunda nube. Once we already have our two clouds and all our um, objects inside our uh, coloring printable is are done, now we're going to start cutting. Ahora es hora de cortar. Try cutting your clouds really nice and even. Traten de cortar bien a detalle su nubecita. 
siguiendo la línea sin pasarse de las líneas. Okay, so once we already have our three hearts, we have one, two, three, we're going to organize them as red, orange, and yellow, like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold each one of them in the middle like this. One. Two. Doblamos nuestros corazones, los tres grandes, por la mitad. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to glue these up like this, okay? Vamos a pegarlos, we're going to glue them. We're going to put a little bit of glue right in the middle. right in the middle, like that. I'm gonna put it a little bit lower, right there. And I'm gonna put in the middle, also. And I'm gonna glue my yellow. And I'm gonna let this dry. Just like this. Let's switch this around a little bit like this. There we go. So I'm going to leave these drying, voy a dejar que eso sequen hasta mientras voy a trabajar en el resto de mi trabajo. Now I'm going to grab my clouds and I'm going to put some glue on it. Just a little bit on it, not too much. Pongo poquito pegamento, no mucho. I'm going to glue one over here. Put the big one down here. Next step. I'm just gonna really quickly see where I'm gonna put my basket. Voy a ver dónde voy a poner la la canasita, pero sin ponerla todavía. Voy a poner esto bien inclinado. Creo que se va a ver bien ahí. Before I do that, I just want to see where I'm going to put these two, where I'm going to put my strings. There we go. So basically that's how it's going to look like. Entonces, voy a poner un poquito de picola, just a little bit of glue here. There we go. I am going to stick this right here, like this. basket. Ahora pego la canacita. Just 
just like that. And now I'm gonna put this heart here, in the middle of my basket. Voy a poner el corazón en el medio de mi canasta. Right there. And finally, I'm gonna put my heart balloon. Finalmente voy a poner mi corazón pero en toda la parte de la parte de aquí atrás. Okay. So, just like that. Como esto ya secado, ahora sí solamente voy a doblar así. I'm going to fold up a little bit, just like that. And that's my final work. So guys, I hope you enjoy it. As soon as you have it done, please post it in. I can't wait to see your work. Hugs and kisses for everybody. Bye-bye for now.